Did you know that there are more than 2 billion sheep and goats in the world? Reproduction underpins the value of those animals. And producers are told that to improve the reproduction outcomes, they need to improve the body condition score of their breeders. Body condition score can be assessed by feeling for the amount of fat and muscle tissue around the backbone, but it's a subjective assessment. There are problems with accuracy. I had two producers come to the research station and assess some livestock for me. And they said, one of them said, your sheep are too fat and they need to be fed less. And the other person said, your sheep are too lean, they need to be fed more. It's a true story. Both of them were trained and trusted assessors. Think about how that plays out with the uncertainty around the management of two billion other animals around the world. The problem's not with the training, the problem is the assessment is subjective. The solution is for a device of objective measurement to enable the user to score for sure. Around the world, most producers will assess livestock condition with their eyes. Some producers have been trained to use their hands. Very few producers score all of their animals. The only other alternative to your eyes and your hands is to use a system like this that enables you to capture live weight. Two animals can have the same live weight but different, different condition scores and different needs, but they can't be sorted on weight alone. Researchers recognised this and investments were made in the automation of visual technology to make the assessment, but that failed in the same way as it does when you use your eye. When the animal grows a fibre, the site of assessment is obscured. Some researchers have recently patented a product in New Zealand. They've taken a different approach to the idea. Our approach is different again, and it's better. The market for this device is the producer that's aiming to maximise the performance of the individual animal. The era of global ag tech has emerged, and out of that comes devices like smart tags, data capture, analysis and decision support, and these fields are converging. The direction of the market is towards the management of the individual animal. As the demand for global food production continues to increase and as the climate continues to rapidly change, more people will move in this direction. This is my laboratory and these are the sorts of things that I do as a researcher. But I also talk to producers. I've got a wide network. and When I talk about the idea of this device, I get instant engagement. The want is large. I know what the minimum viable product is and I know how much people are prepared to pay. The team around me to develop this device includes a researcher at the University of Technology in Sydney. Like me, Philip has a PhD, his is in robotics and machine learning and he's working with a team that has years of experience in the field of automation of live animal assessment. We're funded through the New South Wales DPI GATE program and my product thinking has been cultured and crafted by the group at Seabrin. Philip and I are still developing and testing our device, but we feel that in four short months working on this project, we have made more ground than others did in five years. This is our recent correlation, and that result is as good as a producer who's been trained, is a regular user, and was recommended to us for their repeatability. Our vision is for a device that's easy to use, faster than the status quo, accurate, reliable, has connectivity to auto drafting systems and decision support. I've been talking with a number of companies and they are keen to learn more about our device, but I've held off furthering those discussions because we're going to move to an expression of interest process. So if you are in the field of ag tech, solving problems around the management of individual animals, please come and talk to us Throw your hat in the ring because you know the managers of more than two billion animals want to score for sure. Thank you.